North Providence High School athlete is lucky to be alive tonight. Police say the day before Christmas Eve, the 16 year old was driving on Route 9 in Essex, Connecticut, when he drifted off the road and crashed head on into a tree. Now he's in the hospital recovering from serious injuries. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill has more from his coach and teammates about how they're showing support for one of their own during this difficult time. Lauren. Well, Kim, Gary Cleveland tells me he's doing a lot better after undergoing multiple surgeries, feeling grateful to be alive and thankful for the love and prayers coming from the North Providence community. It's a minor setback for a major comeback. North Providence athlete Gary Cleveland has a long road to recovery before he can get back to doing what he loves. I'm very lucky to survive. There was like a 10% chance. The high school junior is both a basketball and football player for the North Providence Cougars. Athletic staff visiting the 16 year old at the hospital after he was involved in a serious car crash, breaking multiple bones. Our entire community was, was shaken by it. It's about the human aspect and making sure that you know, the, the kid is OK. And it's, you know, thank God he's alive. He's number 12 on the field, playing as a wide receiver and defensive back. Thursday, his teammates and coaches were at the Fenway Bowl, honored during the game, along with other New England high school football champions, thinking of their teammate in that moment. Gary had a great interception in our Super Bowl game that kind of started the momentum of putting us in the right way, putting us on the comeback path. The team says it's more than just a game, it's a brotherhood. We're just happy he's here with us today. Seeing something like this happen to somebody that means so much to you, it's tough. Gary tells me he's already starting physical therapy, taking it one day at a time. I will be back on the football field in, in August though for sure. And a GoFundMe has been set up to help Gary's family with medical expenses. For more information on those fundraising efforts, head to WPRI.com. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.